Today on Project Shop, I'm going to show you how to hand strip Romex wire, burnt, stranded wire where the insulation is literally like melted and corroded to the uh, copper and uh, BX cable and stranded wire. Show you how to get the case off, unwind that, strip it back by hand. And also, I'll show you how I do BX and Romex through the wire stripper. I got a big coil here. Uh, I'll show you how I use my windmill to unwind it and uh, I've been stripping here for a little bit now we got a little little stash going down in there um, I got some more spaghetti wire I'll show you how I strip this down fast okay so I cut these down to about a foot and a half we got the BX the Romex um, I'm gonna show you how to hand do this if you got a bunch of little short pieces and then we got the burnt copper so first if you're um, got a bunch of short pieces and you already got it out of the case this is how I like to unwind it like this if you grab the end right and you flatten it out like that and separate it or just hold it flat in your hand you know you get a finger in there and a finger in there uh, and then just unwind it and keep those separated up there and it'll just unwind and you can do that with pretty long pieces and if you got two people uh, that works really good and then you can uh, strip them back with the fillet knife. Okay, so now, um, Romex. What I do is uh, use your fillet knife, fillet one side, you wanna expose the copper. Now, um, pretty much if you do it right, you can cut it all in one shot. See that? Now, you wanna leave the one out, put the two copper ends in there, make sure that um, try to get all the kinks out if you can. And then you just take your clines or a pair of pliers or even a pair of vice grips and you just pull that ground wire out of there and, and, and peel the case off. Um, and you can do that with 20 foot lengths. I wouldn't recommend going over that, um, you know, unless you got a lot of space. But anyway, um, and then you take your fillet knife and since you already peeled the end off, um, you know fillet back to it and then just run it back like that fillet to it and then just run it back like that and then since you already have it in the vise grab your little tails pull it off and you're done and i would recommend putting like five or six in there at a time if you can do that um okay let's do the bx cable the first thing you're going to need is uh get the end off I usually just squeeze and twist like that and then unwind it until you get uh, about two inches and then use the clines and cut that close and uh, what you definitely want to do is uh, cut the ends because you're gonna do the same thing as you did with the, uh, the Romex once you have it in there, you want to leave it in there so you can pull the copper back. You get that in there like that and, and do a lot of them, as many as you can. And I, I keep it about, you know, 15, 20 feet. Now, this is going to come right off because it's so short. Um, another thing, uh, try to get all the kinks out. And then if it's tight and, it, and these things are kind of like um, Chinese finger traps. If you pull one end and it stretches, it's gonna tighten down on the, on the copper. Um, if that happens, or if it's already tight and got a kink in it, if you grab it and twist it like this in the tight spots, it'll open it up and always give it a jerk from the front because it's gonna compress it and open it up and it'll slide right off. Now this has got a uh, plastic um, on it, which is no problem. Next thing what you wanna do is take a drill with a quick release chuck stick the end in there with plastic and everything tighten it down pull it tight make sure that's cranked down and tight and then just back it out plastic comes right off straightens it right out you can take your fillet knife fillet back to it and just run it back you know fillet to it and then run it back if you're doing long runs uh, this will go quick. Two people, it'll go even quicker. And then you just uh, 
take your little ends and, and pull this off like regular. Now, burnt copper. Uh, this here, you want to strip completely. Uh, you got to make sure there's a 100% disconnect on that last inch and a half on both sides, okay? Strip it down, cut it off, right? Stick it in the vise. Then you're gonna put the end of this in the drill and make sure it's tight. And then what's gonna happen is, make sure it's tight and you pull it tight and you wanna turn it in, not reverse. And what's gonna happen is, it's gonna tighten up that coil and it's gonna shrink, it's gonna expand, it's gonna physically push the plastic out of the grooves. And I'll show you here, do that. Tightens right up, it's real tight now. You see that plastic? The plastic is literally gonna wanna fall off by itself almost. You see that? It's already pushing itself off, you know? And then you just run it back. See that plastic, that shit's tight. But you can see what's happening there. It's literally pushing itself off. Okay, that was burnt corroded copper and uh, Okay, I got some longer pieces set up in the vise and this is this is typically what I would do uh, I'd stick with one style obviously um, And just put as many as I can in here if I if I was actually doing this all the time I'd squeeze some more in there because you want to do as many as you can and as many steps uh, or the same step as as possible with as many as you can it just makes everything go a lot faster now we got some uh longer bx i put this in there i'll show you how that drill will straighten all them kinks out and then this wire here if you look at this one it's uh what's that counterclockwise straight and then clockwise uh straight and then counterclockwise so i'll show you how that comes right out with the drill and then uh, i got a little bit longer piece of uh burnt copper and uh, we'll get it all done. Okay, VX. Uh, it's always good to give it a couple twists and make sure it's straight and try to pull it. And this one's tight. And uh, then we're gonna do the uh, Romex. Grab that with the pliers or your twines or and just pull it back, it's gonna peel. That casing right off. Take your drill. It's very important that you make sure the ends are even. Unwinds them, straightens them right out. And then you always make sure you go right down the next line. Now this one here is the one that's stripped both ways. So what you want to do with this is run it all the way back and actually let it tighten up past where it was. And then you run it back until you see it unwind, straightens it right out, it's ready to go. Left one, one kink in there. Uh, Anyway, this uh, crinkled up stuff. Always make sure your ends are even. Give it a good twist, unwind it, and then go past it, and then come back. Now they're all straight. Uh, burnt, burnt copper, longer piece, same thing. Put it in there. You gotta always crank down on it and twist it forward. This is, the other ones you're twisting in reverse, this one you're twisting forward. And then you'll kind of feel it get harder and tight. You don't want to get it too far where you break it off. Um, and then get your knife, strip, strip back to it. And just walk it back. If 
you got two people, man, this goes really fast. Strip back to it, and then just walk it back. You get the point. And then uh, the burnt copper, strip back to it. This plastic is tough, but it's still, it's coming right off. See that? And then, since you've pre-stripped that, it'd come right off. No problem. Same thing with these, uh, these ones here that you ran back. Pull that little end off, and then, uh, oh, I didn't strip that one, this one. You know, you could just walk them all the way back. And if you would, if I would have stripped them all, I could have walked them all back. I'm gonna run the rest of these to the wire stripper. Real, real tiny stranded. Man, razor blade will dig right into that. See that? Look at that. Come right off, like butter. Solid core. Like butter. See that? Bend and twist. Come right off. VX, or I'm sorry, uh, Romex. Strip it down. Just keep, keep playing, really. You get both sides of that. Pretty much get it to come right off of there. Keep stripping it. Look at that. See that? Coming right off of there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to strip the uh, Romex and BX through my wire stripper and you'll see why I always keep a vise next to my machine and uh, how this um, windmill apparatus works. So I already got some stranded wire on there and uh, basically if you wind it one direction or the other, it'll, it'll find the end for you most of the time. And then uh, you just kind of pull it out to about 10 feet, don't go too quick. Um, and uh, pretty much just keep cutting at 10 foot and uh, what you could do is uh, wind it all the way out and just work from the end back cutting it over 10 feet And uh, you'll see there's some tape on the end. I don't even worry about that. I'll just grab it from the other end. And uh, see how I, as I walk back, I cut all that up. Uh, so with the tape on the end like that, I just send it. Let the machine tear it apart. Be careful you don't get your foot caught up on it or something like that. That's, that's what this clutch here comes in handy too. Give it a little bit more beans. Put it on there and then this is why I want it higher because normally I would always start with the um, bottom one I don't like bending over and then you just open them up to kind of see where it's at sometimes it's good to have a little bit offset so there's a heavy spot so it just doesn't start freewheeling out of control on you um, and these things if you if you loosen this up slide this all the way off and turn around it puts this out here and you can actually you could put like five foot diameter um, coils on here I've only had to do that like three times but it still works great so now 
um, you want to find your end right there and then uh, you just start wheeling out and same thing keep it about uh, 10 foot sections kind of I'm start on the wheeling itself Now the steps are pretty much the same as if you were going to hand strip it. You got to get the case. Uh, now sometimes short enough pieces, uh, you could just pull it out by hand. This one's too tight to do that. It's too long. Shorter pieces, um, you could just pull it out by hand. Um, and what I used to do, um, I used to have this wire stripper and my homemade one which I'll be making a video of next on the same table side by side and then I had my granulator sitting next to it and I would literally run all three machines at the same time this is a pretty stout um, solid core um, but you're gonna do the same thing peel it off get it in the vise that's why um, I, I got a couple ideas of how I'm gonna mount this now and uh, going to be adjustable and removed like a quick release. Um, and then, like I said, if you were going to be doing this, big bundles of this, I'd sit there and put as many in there as you can. Um, I actually might go with a bigger vise here eventually. Covered with that plastic, you want to not disturb that plastic as much as possible. Once you unwind it, it'll come right out of there. Let me uh, really crank down on that. Now that's straight, and then that plastic will slide right out of there. Last thing you do is bend that up straight like that because otherwise you're trying to stick that 90 degree in the wire stripper and now that you have all that straightened out this is pretty big stuff so you don't want it if you got this too tight in the back side the gap too close what'll happen is it'll dead head against it and then just get all tangled up in here and make a huge mess so you always want to pre-open that as close to what it's gonna be when you're running it. And uh, a lot of times what I like to do, um, I'll start this machine with this up and the things won't go and then I'll engage it. Uh, when you got something stuck in there or um, you know, if you're pulling hard on some stuff and when I'm stripping, I'll show you here in a minute, when I'm stripping uh, spaghetti wire, this comes, I stop it, clip it and then kick it. It's better than hitting the switch on and off, burning up the uh, starter on your motor. So. I have this square right here and basically you run it through once it's going to cut the case and kind of pe peel it open um, and then you, you got to come back and run it through again. Makes a big old mess but uh, now what I do I don't try to pull nothing apart. I'll just find one end of the black or white, 
because you're not going to send that ground in there. And then uh, just send it through and let it separate itself, basically. That's going to pull itself right through. Send the black one. It's going to be a little messy. All that paint in the shit. And then uh, the last one, obviously, is the ground. It's good to go. Okay, so this is pretty much why I have this crazy contraption right here. Um, okay. Um, when I'm doing spaghetti wire, I just start picking a color and I start feeding it. I ain't worried about untangling it. I'll start feeding it until it drags the pile up. And then basically I'll let this off. It'll stop and gives me a chance to cut the wire with um, some dikes or some wire cutters. And I'm, what I'm actually thinking about doing is making some type of shear up here to do this automatically um, so I ain't got to have something in my hand so basically start it up run it and uh, as soon as it starts getting tight or the line gets about 10 feet I don't want to get any further than that I've learned to do this in one hand cut it keep that in your hand because your other hands right here and then send that back through there and then you just keep going you keep sending it like that this up it stops cut it and it goes back on and you're not uh, putting a lot of stress on your motor starting and stopping it all the time do that cut it and just go back find another piece keep sending it times so you don't want to let it get to the point where it tightens up kind of like when you tighten up a knot on a rope kind of the same principle um, if you see it getting real tight stop the machine cut it and then uh, come back and start pulling other you know wire from somewhere else now that the machine is uh, bolt it down, it works a lot better. I feel a lot safer. It's solid for it. If you just stick with one color, you know, it'll go quick. I mean, you'll be on to the next color pretty quick. Okay, all this copper may look crazy, but since I cut everything um, in 10 foot lengths, you basically just pull it and uh, it's going to come out. And see that? Now, I don't sit there and, and fold it up like I see a lot of people folding up. You're wasting your time. As you're pulling it, you should be pulling it right down into the drum. You know, and then, you know, with a pair of gloves on, you're keeping the other side and you're pulling all that insulation right off. It's coming right out. That's solid core, even with the stranded. Find a piece of stranded down in here. See that? It's coming right off. You just grab it, and as long as you didn't uh, squeeze it too hard with the blade, See that's still good? You can just run your hand down it and pull the copper right out of the insulation. And a lot of times it's already it's already falling off. You know, it's like as you're pulling it out of here, you know, it's it's coming off. And if you just keep your hand there and you're pushing and pushing, you see that? It's just 
just pulling clean copper right out of there, you know? And then you're just feeding it right down into the thing. It'd probably take me two hours to go through this whole pile and get it down into a drum. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing a video on my homemade automatic wire stripper.